What's up, Sag? Welcome to BMHP's Table Etiquette. Hope you guys are enjoying the summer. I miss you guys. I've been grinding it out trying to bring in these manifestations. So I hope you've been doing the same. Okay? I've been neglecting my channel. I feel so bad, but I'm back, you guys. At least trying to come back. But let's see what's going on with your energy. Beloved, can we do a short form Celtic for Sagittarius? What's been going on with Sag? What's the message you have for Sagittarius, please? What's the message? Unleash your creativity. You know, Sag, there is this energy around you, right? That if they could, they would be with you. But they don't want to let you go for some reason. It's like they know you're going places. And they're trying to keep you from everything that Beloved has for you. Okay? But this person is cold. They, they, um... Brutal? Wow. But the way they handle you, they mishandle you in such a way where you deserve so much better than this person. This person doesn't have a heart. This is like, uh, for you, I'm getting Dorothy. And and who was it? The lion, the tiger, and the bear? And this person is, I mean, the um, I said the lion, tiger, and bear. It was a ten, ten man, the lion who needed courage. But either way, you got the 10 man who need a heart. This person energy is on you like white on rice, okay? Trying to ensure that you stand and stay exactly where they left you at. Now, I see you're advancing regardless. But it doesn't mean that they're not throwing these energy daggers at you. That they're not trying to keep you from... um. Stepping into your divine destiny. You got all the tools that you need to be successful. The um, the thing that's been holding you back in your life, Sag, is love. You know, there comes a time for everything, right? There's a season for everything in our life. And I feel like whatever season you had with that person... That was the season of love in your life. Right now is the season of you really stepping into your divine calling, your divine destiny. There's something more for you to do on the earth other than just love this person who, by the way, doesn't have a heart. I'm here in a brick and mortar. Somebody needs to open up a store or something like that or is working on opening up a store. Um, if you're not opening up a store, then you need to brand your website, get some branding, um, go, going with your, uh, business or something. That's for somebody specific, but you definitely need to step into whatever this calling is that's on your life. This person continues to watch you. I'm getting a stalker energy. Oh, tsh. Who is the stalker in your um, energy, Sag? At the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords energy. You've been taking care of your business. I feel like you've been disconnecting from your feelings, your emotions, things that have been holding you back. But you've been getting a lot of, um, a lot of acknowledgement for the things that you've been creating. I see you, that you're at the beginning stages of whatever this thing is, but you're gonna be super successful in it, Sag. Let's see what's up. Unleash your creativity. I keep getting you got a stalker. I don't know who's watching you, but this person energy just feels clammy. So this person could have a clammy handshake or they sweat a lot or something, but it's like a clammy, I'm not getting a stinky energy, just clammy, sweaty. You know, if you shake someone's hand and they they always have like sweaty palms, 
This is this person. They watch you at night when you least expect it. It's like they want something from you. They want your attention. They want you to speak to them, talk to them, but I see that you don't give this person any attention. It pisses them off that you're so focused on yourself. They see you, and I'm not I'm not saying I see you this way, Sag. But they see you as stuck up. Or like you you think you too good for them or something. This person frequents the grocery store you do. Wild. This is what they're watching. Your energy is very, I don't want to say flamboyant, but with this wild and unleash your creativity card, you seem like you're a lot of fun to be around. Like you may always be happy and be smiling and stuff like that. Like it just seems like you got a lot of joy in your life or something to be happy about. And somebody, oh shit. Somebody want to wipe that smirk off your face? They pissed off at you with this four of pentacles energy, four of wands. I don't like it. This person be all around your house. Don't it look like this is a clammy person? So it could be a fatter or a larger man or a larger woman. This energy is a past energy of a stalker. I talked to you about this energy maybe a month ago, and this energy is still coming up. Um, have Has someone considered relocating? I don't like that they watch you in the dark. Let me rephrase that. I don't like that they watch you at night when you least expect it. I have this card in my um, Black Madonna HP's, um, what is it? Which one is it? Um, Real Talk Oracle. Divine Masculine Truth Deck. Real Talk Oracles. And it's a person in there. And they're watching someone from a distance, right? They're like have like their magnifying glass. Well, not magnifying glass. But they have like their, probably nowadays, their phone, right? But they're able to zoom in from a distance and capture you. If you have a window... You need to learn how to close your blinds. Or if you have curtains, you need to learn how to pull your curtains. Someone is out there. Oh my gosh. Temptation. This is the problem. When someone's being temp a temptation, this is a mind thing, right? When you're tempted... It's like you think and think to this thought manifest itself into reality. But this person can't help but to watch you. They have become obsessed with you, Sagittarius. Hair, body, everything that you have to offer. You might not think you very attractive or sexy. Maybe you do, but this person definitely thinks that you're attractive and sexy. I don't like this person, man. Like I said, they're out there. They're in the dark. I'm telling you. This is a nighttime energy when they are doing this. And they have a night of swords energy, meaning this person is unfucking predictable. Something about a rusty car or a car that has rust. This person can look like a mountain man. They can have a, a scrubby beard or something like that. Um, but very clammy palms. I definitely get the clammy palms. I'm not sure if you've ever met a, a person or something like that with clammy palms. Or, or they just have a clammy look. You know how people look like they're sweaty or hot and they're not? Which tells me that this person may be an alcoholic. They might drink in their pores, might reek of alcohol or something like that. This is a creeping, 
creeper ass energy. I don't feel like this is someone who you used to date. I feel like this is someone Sag who is like, you know how celebrities have stalkers? This is like that energy, like a college girl having a stalker or somebody, somebody that's beautiful or attractive that has a stalker who won't leave them alone, won't let them go. Take off your mask. Wow, really? This person, they watch you, but when they see you, you would never think that this person is um, a creeper. I keep getting they look into your windows. This person, if I was you, oh my goodness. I can't give advice because this is supposed to be for entertainment only. But if it was me in the situation, I would try to move. They secretly are obsessed with you. They think they are in love with you. They dressed in all this black. And when they dressed in all this black, this is the time when they're coming to watch you could stay in San Francisco or um New York you could stay in a high rise or a large apartment building but this person finds a way to watch you when you least expect it they speak to you and everything, which is weird. They speak to you during the day. Hey, how you doing? Very cordially. But they don't show you their true character. Oh my goodness. What's clowning? Oh my goodness. This motherfucker. Hole in the soul. Like I said, they feel like they in love with you. And you got to be careful with this motherfucker because they might hurt you. They got issues. I don't like this. I said a rusty card. Beloved saying rustic. Something about rustic. Oh my goodness. The high priestess and the knight of wands. See this person has that energy of. Like. They're unpredictable. Their car is a car that has rust on it. I'm getting on the left panel of the car. This is for someone specific. This is a definitely not a message for everybody. If you look on their door, it's like at the bottom of their door in the front panel or all the way around the front door is rust. This person could drive a white car or a gray car. Maybe even a truck. This person might wear socks with flip-flops. This is for somebody specific. This, this is a message that's trying to get to one person. I don't see this being a message for everybody. This person reeks. Like I said, I don't know if they drink alcohol or what caused this clammy ass skin, but I keep getting a clammy look, like someone looking clammy. I feel like intuitively, you know this. You have, have um, um, an intuition that tells you that there's a crazy, deranged person that's in your energy. Crazy, deranged. Didn't you have that last time, Sag? Hold on, let me... You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Or this person could be a Capricorn, but that crazy deranged energy is a devil's energy. And Capricorn got it last time. Ooh, let's see what's coming up in the near future. Victim consciousness. Oh my goodness. I don't like it. 
I don't like it. I don't like it. Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. With this energy, only time would tell for whatever reason. I see you not only being beautiful, but having a beautiful spirit and beautiful personality. But something about this person is, is going to continue to linger. I'm not sure if it's because you haven't identified who this person is. You don't know who this person is. You don't see this person. But there's a, a stranger around you that keeps watch of you. It's like... How can I explain it? It's like, you know how you think you see people on the streets? But this is a person you've seen more than once. And you may have thought, huh. You may have had that moment of, hmm, that's strange. Or, hmm, wow. I remember I seen them on the subway. Or It's no coincidence if you've seen this person more than once. This is a sign that this person has been around you and stalking you. With this um, unleash your creativity, you might just have to get creative in the way you deal with this situation. I'm not going to go tell you get a gun license or anything like that, but you need to do what you need to do to um, keep yourself protected. I don't like this energy and I, I have to sit and take a moment because I'm thinking to myself, damn, you know, you could just be living your life doing you and people because of your beauty or because of your style, your grace, whatever. If you're a guy, maybe it's just a crazy woman that you was just nice to. What was that movie um, with Beyonce and um, Idris Elba obsessed? Was it obsessed? I think so. But, um, it's one of those type of vibes. Like you were just being nice. And someone may have took it in the wrong way. Beloved, tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this stalker of Sagittarius. The Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands, Temperance, the Will of Fortune, and the Four of Cups. <sighs> this person's seen you in traveling somewhere. I don't know if it's when you go to work, when you go to the grocery store I keep get picking up a grocery store energy a gray van it might have oh my goodness it might have some type of um electrician logo or some type of logo for some type of um uh, electrician business um or some type of business having to do with home repair this could have been someone you let in your house before to repair something it could be a uh, um oh my goodness uh, um what do you call those a maintenance man or a maintenance woman well it's usually a maintenance man but this energy just feels like in passing right like in greeting type energy. You let this person in though. That's why I feel like this is like a maintenance man or something that's stalking. I'm not sure if you've got a creepy maintenance man that looks clammy or just seems out of place at times or what it is. But it seems like this is someone that's been in your home before or been surrounding your home they could be like a lawn keeper uh, um or something like that this motherfucker is obsessed they think about you all the time though mm, mm, mm. 
it's this bittersweet energy. Because, oh my goodness, when you throw stuff away in your trash, Sag, make sure, make sure that you are tearing it up into pieces. Oh my goodness. Lord, have mercy. This person is off the chain, Sag. The energy I'm picking up with this temperance and will of fortune. And what's crazy, remember when I started off the reading, I said this person doesn't have a heart? That's because this person is loco. Loco. Beloved, what's the message you have for Sagittarius, please? Dang, even beloved is like retreat. Retreat to the natural world. Go where you feel most alive. A peaceful forest, the mountains, your local park. Let the ocean roar through you. Be revived by nature's wonder. If you stay in the city, it's time for a vacation and to somewhere a little bit more secluded. Okay, Sag. Y'all really stressed me out. I love y'all so much. Thank you guys for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Atticus. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and so take care.